Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sponge refillable cartridge with uh, HP67. In the previous two videos, we did uh, uh, how to refill it and uh, we did uh, how to select the cartridge and uh, avoid uh, the E01 error. Please like this video if you find it useful. I mean this kind of like. Uh, today we're going to use uh, this kit from PCH to replace all the sponges inside the cartridge. Uh, if you remember from the previous video, uh, the problem with OEM cartridge is uh, the sponge fatigue. And although you can refill it, you can only print 20-30 pages. Uh, after a while, the sponge will, is not good anymore. So this kit has a clear cover. Uh, one for the color, one for the black, and has four sponges, three for the tricolor and one for the black. And also include this uh, priming syringe. You may need it and you may not. So it's, uh, uh, it's in the kit, but it's option not to use. It doesn't have an, uh, it doesn't have any syringes, so uh, you get a syringe from uh, when you're buying the ink. Uh, but it does have four needles. I'll put the link to the kit above. The super glue is for the car if you want to glue the cover airtight, uh, which is uh, optional. And uh, actually, I suggest you not to, because if you do not glue the airtight, you can remove the sponge later and use the sponge at another set of cartridge. OK, you may have heard uh, the sponge less, which means you don't need a sponge. Uh, for the sponge less, it's easier to do. But uh, for the sponge less, you have to glue the uh, cover airtight. And um, uh, that means you, can, you have to buy another side for each cartridge. But this one, you can just reuse it again and again and uh, pass on to your children and uh, pass on to your grandchildren. So you buy it once. And uh, again, this is the hardest one to do. And you need a really sharp uh, blade. Uh, I suggest use the utility knife and uh, with a brand new blade. And also you need a considerable arm strength. And uh, first thing is you find this seam and put your sharp knife on it. And start using your arm to move on up and down and push down. Be really careful. Um, if you lose a finger, it's not my fault. Once you feel a corner is compromised, and uh, you change it to another corner. So you just rotate it and uh, work on all the corners. Why don't you try this at home? So if you can open it and uh, you buy the kit, if you cannot, and uh, you can throw the cartridge away, you're going to throw the cartridge away anyway. OK, you're going to see this tiny little sponge <laughs> and guess how much ink it can hold. And uh, also, you can see there's a wall around it. And that's because HP doesn't want you to put more ink in it. And uh, remember, the, the black color is easily to get glued backwards. And uh, you, should, uh, you should take a mental picture where's the front, where's the back, before you put the black uh, cover back. And this is a regular size 67. And you can see HP didn't even bother to fill up the sponge. It only filled half full. So you're paying $15 for that three drops of ink. Let's take a look over the 67XL. Uh, you can see the HP gave you a lot more ink in the XL. And uh, the sponge is a little bit more full. And uh, the sponge actually is a little bit larger than the regular sponge. So you get a comparison of the regular sponge and the XL sponge. So over today's goal is uh, we're going to use this granddaddy sponge. Let's see how much ink we can get for $15 from BCH. So we go to bchtechnology.com. And uh, we go to ink for printers and uh, ink, uh, refill ink for HP. And uh, select all dye ink. I know the original HP is, uh, is pigment ink, but uh, based on my experience, use the dye ink on this cartridge. And we go to, uh, I'm going to suggest you to get this kit. Uh, 
it has uh, six bottles. Each bottle has 100 ml. And uh, HP only gave you 3.5 ml each cartridge. So each bottle will be 20 refills. Uh, again, I'm going to put a link above so you can find it. OK, the over next task is just remove this wall so we can put a sponge in. I think the best way to do it is have a CNC, uh, CNC machine and you can program it. And uh, I already do it, just use the plier, just nip, nip. Uh, when you do it, there's a filter underneath. Do not break that filter. If you break that filter, the cartridge will go bad. It gets harder and harder when you reach the bottom. Sometimes I use a stove to heat up a screwdriver. I use the screwdriver to do the bottom. Another way is using a rotary tool. Um, I'm using this cheap one from Amazon. It's like $21 with free delivery. <laughs> It has this part I find that really useful. Uh, I'm going to put uh, the ASIN here, so uh, if you want it, you can get it from Amazon. You don't have to make it absolutely flat. Remember, if you press the sponge down, the sponge has good contact with the filter, and that's good enough. And now wash the cartridge with uh, distilled water. Uh, do not use tap water or uh, mineral water. And you can get distilled water from the, any grocery store. And it, you know, my region is like uh, 85 cents for a gallon. And now it's the fun part. The sponge is made larger than the cartridge. That's intentional. So you have to squeeze it and uh, uh, make it really snuggy. Press it down harder if you didn't make the bottom totally flat. And then now the cover. Make sure uh, to compare the original cover and then make sure which, uh, <laughs> which is up and which is down. We're not going to glue the cover up uh, airtight today. So just make sure you put the uh, cover in the right way and get a piece of tape and uh, just tape it. If you can't come with those sharp needles, uh, just fill a syringe, then use those sharp needles. And today I'm going to show you is if you don't have sharp needles, if you have like blunt needles, it can still penetrate the uh, the sponge. However, uh, do it with an angle, uh, so you can make sure it doesn't um, puncture through the uh, filter. Uh, you can just uh, squeeze as, as much ink as you want until you see the the ink comes up. Uh, for the color ink, it's the same chore. Cut and rotate, cut and rotate. We can see there's no much difference in the sponge size between the regular and the XL. And uh, remember the color sequence, and uh, the life is yellow, and the right is blue, and the top one is magenta. And the magenta is a little bit special. See, the filter is kind of uh, uh, it's kind of high, so you need to push down the sponge a little bit more when you install. So for the yellow and uh, the cyan, we need to remove the middle divider. And uh, for the magenta, we need to move the left and the right divider. After you're done, uh, uh, clean with uh, distilled water and also check the magenta. Make sure the magenta is all the way down. For all the three colors, uh, the one that you have most problem with may be magenta because your sponge is not all the way down. And how about this before and after picture? Again, we're going to secure the top with uh, tape rather than, uh, than glue it airtight. And uh, we're going to just use uh, tape to tape it. Again, uh, go in with angle. Do not penetrate the filter. Uh, now we need to prime it. If we glue it airtight, so we can just use this priming syringe to push some air uh, in each chamber and the ink will be primed and coming out. Because we didn't glue the airtight, we'll need a priming kit. Uh, for starter, you can go uh, just search for EZ30 and uh, go to this one. First time I refill kit for HP. 
and it's called Easy 30T. And this one you can have uh, all four colors, and uh, you have a full priming kit. The ink volume is uh, 30 ml each color. The ink I recom recommend earlier, this ink doesn't have a priming kit. It only has ink, but you get lots of ink. You get a uh, uh, hundred ml each for six bottles. And if you want to buy the priming kit uh, by itself, you go to accessories, priming clip and syringe, and you can buy this priming kit by itself. Uh, it's like we have a uh, promotions, so we have sales, so I don't know at the time you look at this which which way is easier. The Easy 30T has everything you need, and uh, but if you buy them separately, you might get a better deal. The Prime Kit will have uh, two rubber pads. One have a uh, one is longer, one is shorter. The shorter one is for the color tricolor cartridge. Just line it up, push it in, and uh, draw some ink from the bottom. For the tricolor, the ink coming out should be black because you combine the all three colors. So you can see this is a little bit uh, greenish, and that means your magenta is not good. So the testing is uh, is have a wet paper towel and press it down. You can see there's no red color coming out. Most likely, you didn't make the the uh, the bottom flush, so the sponge doesn't have a good contact with the bottom. And uh, and oh, so let's try this. So I, I'll I'll put more ink in it. I'll put more uh, magenta ink in it. And uh, you can see on the left is uh, is the the new ink, and uh, which is um, a lot a lot more black. And on the right, which look green, and the over paper towel test look okay. You get all three colors. And now we're gonna change the pad and do the black. And uh, uh, do not contact me if you cannot put the black on. This clip is the correct clip. If it doesn't fit really tight, uh, it won't have any vacuum. Okay, so if you put it, uh, uh, if you put it like this, and you can see they they all line up, and they line up in the middle, push down and then push forward, and uh, then that should work. I still get the pro, uh, get the people contact me say uh, they cannot push it in, and uh, the clip is too small, and uh, I don't really know how to give a better suggestion than uh, other than just put it in the middle, push it down and push forward. And if you don't have a good vac vacuum, and you don't feel it sucking, and just move the cartridge a little bit around, and uh, until you get a good good uh, vacuum, and the black look good. Let's take a first spin, and uh, there's no E zero one air. That's great. And uh, watch my previous video. I'm gonna put it in the description. And uh, if you have a E zero one air. And uh, check out that video, and uh, you can understand what it is. I'll put a direction to Apple China restaurant uh, uh, in the description. There's a fake restaurant, a fake China Apple China restaurant in Greensboro now. And uh, if you use Google Map, it will lead you to to the fake one. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, the real one in the description. And the first page looks delicious. But if we print a couple more pages, you're gonna see the red color is gone. Uh, normally, it means you need to uh, prime a little bit more, or uh, your uh, sponge is not down enough to touch the filter. So we'll just leave it like this. We don't do anything for half an hour, and we'll come back print another page. So if the uh, sponge touch the filter, and uh, the color should come down now. And you can see uh, it's, still, uh, it's still yellow. It's hard to tell if you uh, cartridge is clogged, air clogged, or uh, the sponge need to calm down a little bit. So we we'll just leave the leave the cartridge in the printer for a day. Then we we'll come back the second day and start printing. If we have any problem with uh, ink pressure, it should be balanced the second day. So if the print uh, if the print is still bad, we need to adjust the sponge. It look pretty good. Uh, 
for the first few uh, like a, a third of page, and then you can see it start getting yellow again. So uh, we need to adjust the sponge. I'll just use a needle uh, to press the sponge down a little bit. Yeah, I'm not adding ink. I'm just pushing the sponge down. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'm going to take the cover off and uh, uh, grind, grind down the, the divider a little bit more, okay, make it a little bit lower so uh, the sponge can come down a little bit. And uh, However, this seems to fix the problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at uh, www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers!